I love this question. You're welcome. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching the Chris and Clay vlog. Today, we are going to be answering all of your questions about the holidays. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> on the vlog. Let's dive right in. I love this question. Which Christmas movie character would you say your husband is most like? The Grinch. Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> For real though, because obviously... Buddy the Elf. That was my nickname in college. Buddy the Elf. Buddy. And also my nickname growing up. From my dad. I told you that before. Mm -hmm. My nickname was Buddy when I was little. Um, and also in college. As well. Um, you. Hmm. Well, you're funny, people like you, you're sarcastic. Go with me. This is not the best answer. You Phil Davis in White Christmas because you're like a little like conniving at times, but it's all for good reason. And you're sweet and you're charming <laughs> and you're tough dancing and you're cute. Does that count? Sure. Is it like Rudolph or something? Cause you always save the day, is that better? No. Okay. Phil Davis in White Christmas. You're welcome. Favorite LGBTQIA plus Christmas movie? There are more now than there have been, but there's mm -hmm. still a small number of them. Yeah. Um, I would say Single All the Way would might be my favorite one. I have not seen uh, Kyle Dean and Taylor's new one, uh -huh. uh, Christmas to Treasure. I have not seen that. We tried, we couldn't watch it live, and we tried to watch it streaming. We were unable to do it. You, uh, Jonathan Bennett has a new movie, uh, the guy oh, from right. Mean Girls. Um, he has a new one. It's like, him and his husband are like uncles that are visiting for Christmas or something. I haven't seen that one, but I would say single all the way. What's one holiday tradition you'd like to carry on when you have kids one day? I know instantly what, what I want to say. I, what are you going to say? Pulling out the ornaments or the no, oh, the, no, your no. Christmas dishes? Like you, oh. <laughs> no. Um, That's something I, I remember that you know or yeah. that you love from your childhood. I'm excited to decorate for Christmas with my kids for sure, but like yeah. a tradition, that'll just be like, having them help, because I'm all will need their help hanging stuff up. Um, I was gonna say reindeer dust, the thing that your mom Oh, for did. sure. Ta you've talked about it before, but share it with those who are watching for the first time or may need a, a refresher. So on Christmas Eve, um, at night, you take reindeer dust, which is oats and glitter in a bag, and you like throw it in the air, and you can make a Christmas wish if you want to when you throw it, but it's, Oats are for the reindeer to have a little snack, and the glitter is for the reindeer to see your house from the sky. So you throw it in your yard. Not, yeah. You don't just throw it like in your, inside your house or something. Oh yeah, yeah, go outside. <laughs> go outside. To do this. Um, yeah, and it's great for kids. It is very, very cute. I did it for the first time as an adult. Your mom and sister came to visit us uh, for Christmas one year. Mm -hmm. So we went onto the roof of our New York apartment and set off the alarm. Uh, on Christmas Eve night. At like 11.30 at night. We woke up everyone and we went to Christmas. So with that amazing story and that amazing tradition, <laughs> I'm excited to do that with our kids Me someday uh, we'll outside. outside. And not a yeah. roof. Yeah. Or a roof that we know won't set off the alarm when we go Fair. out the exit door. What's one tradition you do each year? Put up our tree and go through all of our Disney yeah. ornaments. That's one of the fun... Yes. One of the fun things that we do every year. Um, and last year we started our Disney tree, yeah. just Disney ornaments, and uh, you're overwhelming us with the amazing support. We actually, Seriously. we have some amazing new additions, so thank you all for supporting us yeah. in our Disney uh, ornament obsession. And it's also fun to go through like our older ones and like relive those memories together. A tradition we've done the last few years is play games on Christmas Day mm -hmm. with Clay's mom, because we've been with her like the last several Christmases. Yeah. We're not going to be with her this Christmas, so we should probably film some games and share yes, those just to, you know, keep the tradition alive. Yeah. Speaking of, if you have any holiday games that you want us to play, comment them or like send them to us on a DM um, so that we can see them. And yeah, please. Try them. It's time for one of our unboxing breaks. We'll, we'll do a couple of them throughout the video, but here's the first one. And we have some friends here. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Rachel. Hi. So if you hear chuckles in the background. Dana also sent me this last year, and I was obsessed with it, and she told me that she made another one, oh. so I already know what it is. Oh my gosh, cute! It's a Disney Doodle calendar. Oh, oh it's Disney Doodles, wait. Disney. Oh, cool! Oh, fun! She included, like, specific dates, so, like, the 101 Dalmatians movie was released in January of 1961, so she put that as That's so the cute. January picture. Keep going, keep going, Dana, this is great. Pinocchio. Oh. Came out in February of 1940. 
1950, Peter Pan in 1953. Onward came out in March of 2020. Dana, this is so thoughtful. This is so thoughtful. Oh my gosh, look at, look at your birthday. Oh, oh it's a picture of us two. And our anniversary, there's a picture oh. of us in Boston. You're on it, Dana, that's so sweet. Aww. I love you. Your birthday. My birthday. I love you. So sweet. Thank you so much. That's so thoughtful. So, so cool. Thank you so much for the sweet birthday card and the fun dad joke. And the holiday card with the gift card in it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dana. How do you decide whose family to visit? Are there any hard feelings if not visited? Um, well, typically we are working in musicals on Broadway or on tour. And usually there are shows on Christmas Eve. Sometimes like last year when I was in Hamilton, we had a show on Christmas Day which is crazy. I hope that part of the industry shifts and you know they're a little more respectful of you know personal lives. But I also get it, people are traveling around the holidays and they wanna see shows together and make memories. Um, so often we work around the holidays and going home is not usually an option. However, uh, last year, Clay's dad picked me up on the 23rd after my show, drove me to your hometown. I spent Christmas with you all. Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day, I spent the morning with you and then I drove back, and you drove me back mm -hmm. uh, to do the show that night. Crazy. And this year, Clay has shows the day before and the day after Christmas, so traveling is not an option for us this year. So if we wind up getting to go home, um, it's usually pretty rare, and our families just kind of suffer without us, or they go on without us. I haven't spent Christmas with my family um, and my siblings and stuff, I think in like eight years, I think, so it's kind of crazy. So no hard feelings, they've gotten used to the fact that we're actors. Advice for a newly out gay man who will spend the holidays without family for the first time. Well, if you're spending the holidays without family because you came out, I'm sorry, I know that's very tough. I know it's hard to uh, not have that acceptance. I've experienced that, you know, uh, upon coming out myself. Uh, I'm sending you lots of love and support, we both are. Mm. And if you can find, if you're able to spend the holidays or some of the holidays with friends, um, please do that so you're not alone. Um, but also, we learned during the pandemic when we had to be away from each other that, uh, or away from our friends and stuff, Zoom was a great way to uh, get in contact, quick FaceTime calls. When we have holidays where we're apart. That's mm -hmm. something we do. Um, as well as find your favorite holiday films, and favorite holiday snacks, and things that make you feel warm inside. And, uh, you know, partake in those activities for the holidays. And we're sending you lots of love. Gabriel asked, what are some ooey gooey memories that make you feel all warm and cozy? I wasn't sure if they meant like ooey gooey gross at first, but um, when I think of Christmas, I think of my grandma's house growing up, not the grandma I mentioned earlier, but my other grandma. Um, she had an old house, a big old house, and the entire basement is where all the kids would sleep. So they would hang doorbells on the door of the basement. So if kids tried to sneak up and like peek in their stockings, the bells would wake mm -hmm. up somebody. Um, so all the grandkids, if you were under the age of 18, you were in the basement. And uh, it was so fun. I mean, I remember one Christmas, my cousins who lived in Texas were there and they woke us up screaming at like 4 a.m. and they were like, it's snowing, it's snowing. And they had never seen snow before. I was really tired and ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> but we were up from that time onward until we opened up gifts. So um, yeah, that's like, I think that was a special season in my life. We went there almost every Christmas and you know, uh, the anticipation of opening up gifts and stuff and, you know, hanging out with all my cousins and stuff was a really good time growing up. How about you? Every Christmas morning, we opened presents at my house and then we would go to my mom's parents' house and we would open presents and then we would go to my dad's parents' house and, uh, and open presents there. And so that is one Lots thing. of present stops, like, yeah. Well, I mean, not just presents. We would like eat and sure. share a meal and share all those fun memories. But it's definitely one thing I miss is getting to like spend all that time with with family. Mm -hmm. um, so like Chris was saying earlier, I hope the Broadway League and producers ease up a little bit on our Christmas schedules eventually. That would be thoughtful of them since yeah. they get to be home with their loved ones for Christmas. Thankfully, we have each other, but... Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, know, I don't love him, though, so... But I know several people in my show that are that have talked about spending Christmas alone because there there's no time to go home mm -hmm. um, for Christmas. So, it's sad, and yeah. I, I hope that changes. That would be really meaningful. Fingers crossed. Yep. Most surprising Christmas gift you have ever received from one another. Yeah, from each other. Um, 
Last year, Clay got me this big Lego set for the whole Home Alone movie, like the house, the mansion. After he gave it to me, he was like, I did see a better deal for this online, so if you want, I can return this and I can get you it at a cheaper price. And I was like, oh, for sure, for sure. And then he returned it and never got it for me again, so. Okay. So I was surprised that it got taken away. Let me interrupt this vlog because, uh, well. I got him the Legos for his birthday, but well, it was again, the day got... before his birthday, no, so no, no, I didn't no, no, want to no, say anything. Pause, this makes no sense. You got them for my birthday last year. Yeah, but I got them You're shouting. And, Why are you and shouting? then you opened Why are you them shouting? Why are you shouting? It was like a year late birthday, <laughs> but still on your birthday. So I didn't know I was getting it again, so thank you again. Um, but but we now have the whole Lego set for me to actually put together, or for us to put together, so thank you, Clay. You're welcome. I'll play it back to what my face looked like when you mentioned it. And then he returned it and never got it for me again, so. Okay. I love you. <laughs> How about you? He doesn't give me presents. Lies. Who's that present for? Okay, I said yours weren't wrapped yet. They're literally in my room Who in the boxes. Presents? Get Who over here, for? get over here. Someone said, make Vlogmas, please. What I'm not sure what Vlogmas, Vlogmas means, so. Like, the answer is maybe. Christmas, Vlogs? a Christmas vlog? Or a lot of Christmas vlogs? Vlogmas, is that like going live on Christmas? I'm sure, so I can't say yes or no, but it wasn't a question, it was a statement. Make Vlogmas, please, so I. They at least said please. Yeah. All right, another box. Oh my gosh, more Disney ornaments! This one comes with batteries. I wonder why. Ooh, it must light up or something. Oh, this is cute. It's Mickey playing his xylophone. Oh, and there's a little crank. I bet you crank it. And he has wires on it. I bet he plays the music. Ooh, and a bit alarming. So cute. Running his Vespa. He wanted it. He wanted it the whole movie. Oh, uh, oh this cute. One sings or has sound. Mowgli and the little um, elephant. I almost said dinosaur. <laughs> and a 2022. Cute. These are gonna be perfect for our Disney tree. I'm so excited. We only hit the jackpot today. Wow. Oh, Chippendale swinging. Very cute. On a candy cane. Do you know how to tell Chippendale apart? We probably said this in the vlog before because, as Clay was saying earlier, I repeat myself a lot. But Chip has a black nose, like a chocolate chip. That's how you know. That's how you know. Thank you to whoever sent us all these ornaments. It doesn't have like a, a name of who sent it to us. So whoever you are, thank you so much. And appreciate it. If it was you, comment below so that we know that it was you and we can give you a shout out and say thanks. Someone sent us this custom made ornament. It says Rice Thompson on the bottom of the Mickey castle or the Cinderella castle from Disney World. It's and so we're not beautiful. sure who it's from, but thank you so much. It's gorgeous. It's gonna go on our tree right now. And if it was you, let us know in the comments because it's truly beautiful. We're now opening up a package from Brian. Ooh. Ooh. Broadway, the American musical. Cool. It's like a coffee Ooh. table book. Yeah. Thank Gorgeous. you so much. These are beautiful pictures. I can't wait to look through it. Very cool. Thank you so much. Ooh. Sea salt caramel. Mm, give it here. And Thank you. I was gonna say, I don't know how you didn't take that right away. There was a card in here, and I opened the book before I opened the card. An Olive Garden gift card. Ooh, thank you. You know we love Olive Garden, one of our faves. Yum. Delay. Thank you for the sweet card, too. Thank you. Oh, cute. The Mickey plush. Cute. And rainbow pants. So cute. Very like cute. That. Oh, cute. Matching mini and her mini. rainbow. White chocolate sugar cookie. Ooh. Clay, we're taking these and I'll be taking these. Done. Thank you so much, we appreciate it so much. And happy holidays to you. Thanks, Brian. And thank you, Mike, for this card game that we can now play on our vlog. Woo! Bill Zayner sent us this beautiful music box. How stunning. Yeah, and it plays When You Wish Upon a Star and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It's very cool. Thank you so much for this thoughtful and absolutely gorgeous gift. Seriously. This is like, fan this is fancy. Just to show how it works. Are you kidding me? So every little notch on that thing causes a note to happen. Thank you so much, Bill. We love this. It's so stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, shut up. This next box is from Watari. Good to hear from you, Watari. Watari, I probably will hibernate too long, but that's what winners are really about, right? Thank you for sharing part of your story. We're sending you lots of love. Yeah. These are totes. You. 
Cool. Thank you so much for these awesome and meaningful totes. We appreciate it a lot, Watari. Thank you. Paul sent us a little Minnie Mouse plush and a Mickey Mouse plush. Oh, Christmassy. The scarf is so cute. As well as oh, a Minnie Mouse ornament. Cute! And a Mickey Mouse ornament. Thank you so much. Our Disney tree is Disney now. We are obsessed. Thank you so much for the new additions. Thank oh. you. <gasps> and Tinkerbell. Are you she kidding me? Hiding. She was hiding. Oh, she's spinning. She's, she's just dancing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Really, really sweet gifts. We appreciate it. This is sealed. Happy it's vacuum holidays. Sealed. It's sealed. Clay, have a Merry Christmas so and a Happy New Year. Paul Miller. Christopher, I always liked you more. <laughs> and look at the cute card he sent me. I'm not sure about Clay, but I got the cute card. Mine's better. Mine's better. They're the exact same. They're the same. <laughs> it, this one says, this one says, it's your birthday. Oh, cute. Stitch. Oh, that's so fun. Thank you, Sherry, for the amazing and very cute birthday card, as well as the gift card. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Bill, for the cute Mickey birthday card. Thank you, David, for the card all the way from France. Thank you, thank you. And Dan, thank you for the card. We appreciate it. Happy holidays. Thank you, Tracy, for the cute Snoopy card. And thank you, Dana, for this gorgeous ornament that she said she bought when the Respect for Marriage Act was signed into law. So thank you so, so much. Beautiful. Thank you, Sherry, for the cute pop-up card. Love that so much. As well as all the amazingly decorated and truly delicious Christmas cookies. So cute. There's a whole box full of them and they're all different and so adorable just like this. So thank you so much. We're gonna eat all of them. We're not gonna share. Thank you so much for the holiday cards, Tony and Marty and Kenny. And thank you, Brian, for this very, very sweet gift card and card. Thank you. And Jerome for the sweet note. And Marty and Kenny, thank you so much for the awesome birthday card. Thank you, Paul, Cindy, and your whole family for this sweet card, as well as Mauricio for this sweet card. And thank you, Lance, for the awesome holiday card. And thank you, Derek and Spencer. And yes, thank you for making the Yuletide gay. Thank you so ho ho much for okay. hanging out with us all today. No, no, no. Before he goes on, <laughs> go ahead and check out our Christmas playlist. Yeah, there's more fun videos over more there. More fun videos. Yeah. Happy holidays, everybody. Oh, my gosh, you're so weird.